Hello! Ha! Oh my goodness, guys. It is storming out here. That means, that means it's time for this. Get your cocoa blocks, cocoa blocks, cocoa blocks. Oh, buddy. Whew. All right. Since it is absolutely storming outside, that means it's breeding season and breeding season in full swing. So the point of today's video is to show you guys all of the pairings, all of the pairings that we're doing for the 2022 hashling season. guys are on Patreon, you get first pick at these, so this video is really for you guys to know if there's something coming up that you want to get your hands on, put you on the list to be first at it. I've got 18 pairings that I'm doing this season, so I'm gonna move through this really quick so this video doesn't get too long, and uh, so like 45 seconds on each pairing, that's what I'm going for. Let's go. <laughs> So the first pairing is going to be with Ricky. The first three pairings, actually, uh, Ricky's going to be the sire of. He is a pastel Enchi clown. He's actually the second snake to produce clutches for us here at Triple B. He's still going strong. And his first female is Make Make. Make Make is a Mojave pinstripe 100% het clown. Uh, sorry, Mojave GHI pinstripe 100% het clown female. Yeah, that would be really great if this happened. Um, unfortunately, I've not witnessed a lock, even though they've been together five times. Now, I have put them together plenty of times where I just left for a couple days, so they might have locked where I missed it. But I think we can all agree that if we can get some pastel Enchi GHI Mojave pinstripe clowns, that would be pretty sweet. But uh, time will tell. We got a lot to go. I, I got some pairings that are going to be fun because we've never done them before. Some that have like exciting reasons behind doing them. Some that are obviously going to be some cool clown stuff. Got some cool sunset stuff. And again, pairings that will produce animals that I think a lot of people really want and something we've never gotten to do here before. So let's keep moving along. Now I'm stoked on this next pairing not only because this girl has some big old follicles in her right now and most more than likely is gonna go uh, but also it's clown to clown so everything in the clutch is gonna be clown and we've got again pastel and she clown in ricky here and we got venus who is a lemon pastel scaleless head clown best odds from this are gonna be a pastel and she or yeah uh, killer and she clown basically. That's the best odds. And, but the worst possibility from this is going to be a, uh, a clown. So if you like clown, this is the pairing for you. But again, she's got some nice follicles building and look at how good she looks, dude. That's a good looking snake right there. <laughs> last pairing that Ricky here is going to have, uh, the last female that he's going to see this season, and I'm actually going to put them together today because they have not been paired yet. And again, Pastel Enchi Clown to Super Fire. So we're looking at all fires, Het Clown at least, and shooting for Enchi Firefly, 100% Het Clowns. We're looking good. Snakes are looking super healthy. And uh, all right, let's, let's get on to the next male. <laughs> is the king, our Coral Glow Pied Male. Low white, this dude has been getting better and better with age, actually. He's got these, these kind of peaches and pinks, especially down towards the tail that are starting to come in that weren't there when he was a baby. So that's pretty interesting. And his first girl that he's seeing is a girl that he's seen before and has paired with and has made babies with, and that's Maya, our Coral Glow Female. 
<laughs> well, these snakes are ready to go, dude. We've had clutches from this pair before. We're looking for some Super Coral Glow 100% Het Pipes. Bam. Looking freaking flapping, flipping tantastic. <laughs> And the next girl that the king is gonna see is another girl that he's seen before as well. That's Bubbles, our champagne female. And last time we did this pairing, we missed on any Coral Glow champagnes. So I'm hoping that this time around, we'll see that happen. They're not doing the ball python thing. Have we? Let's see if we get one snake that's gonna do the ball python thing. I don't know. They're all seem to be pretty much rip roaring ready to go. <laughs> Our next two pairings are both snakes that have been produced right here at Triple B, and that's Oedipus, who is the son of the king, a Coral Glow Pied, 100% Het Clown male. And then we've got Cindy, the first female ever produced here at Triple B. She's produced at least one clutch for us in the past. Uh, I think actually two at this point, and she's absolutely huge this season. Oh my gosh, where are you going, dude? She is just enormous, but I've not palpated any follicles in her, but she looks like she's ready to pr start producing some. And even though I've had these guys paired a bunch of times, I've not witnessed a lock. So I don't think I'm gonna throw in a backup male at all, but I don't know, these guys have done it before. I've had a clutch from these two before, so they, they know each other and they know sh what should be happening. But she is, of course, an Enchi Firefly Clown. So we're looking for Coral Glow, <laughs> Coral Glow Enchi Firefly Clowns that are 100% Het Pied from this pairing. That would be the ultimate. <laughs> Other girl that Oedipus is gonna see here is this yellow belly clown, possible het pied. She was a gift from Jesse over at Freedom Breeder a couple Christmases ago, and man, if she proves het pied, that would be fantastic because assuming that this guy gets the lock in and gets the job done, then we'll be looking at some coral glow yellow belly clown pieds. <laughs> Our next male, Bullwinkle, is only going to see one girl this season. And Bullwinkle, of course, is... Oh my god. Wow, these snakes are absolutely ridiculous right now. This is like trying to wrangle retics almost. So, Bullwinkle is possibly one of the most beautiful males here at Triple B. Super Pastel Lesser. And he is going with Violet, who is a Purple Passion, which is Phantom Mojave. This is our first chance to produce blue-eyed leukistic animals out of this pairing. We can get uh, Lesser Mojaves, which is supposed to be one of the whitest of the blue-eyed leukistics, and, and Lesser Phantoms, which I don't know that I've ever really seen one before. We know that all the babies will be pastel, since Bullwinkle's a super pastel. And then it'll be fun trying to figure out what's what. This is going to be... A surprise, or maybe we'll be able to tell. We'll, we'll have to see, it's gonna be fun. I'm just excited to produce all white snakes from this because we've never produced them before. And I've always kind of wanted to in the back of my brain. So I was like, you know what? Let's, let's do it this year. This is the time to do it. Triple B this season. The pairing. This is Stud Muffin, and she's Cinnamon Sunset, produced right here at Triple B early last season. And he's living up to his name because he's an absolute stud muffin. He's been locking every time I put him in with the females, and he just looks absolutely fantastic. With the queen, our clown pied, we're looking for some triple het sunset clown pieds out of this pairing, which is a big stepping stone for Triple B and all these ball pythons as they call them. 
I think they're doing the royal treatment tonight because they ain't doing no ball stuff. Now the other female that Stud Muffin has been locking with here is Candice. Cinnamon, 100% het sunset. So we're looking for some more Enchi Cinnamon Sunsets and Super Cinnamon Sunsets? Haven't seen that yet. Now this next dude is special. I did an unboxing, I never really revealed exactly what it is. Some people came real close to guessing. Uh, this is an Enchi Red Stripe Spot Nose GHI Clown produced by Justin Kubilka, uh, now Canova. And his name's Scuba Steve because of that incredible Scuba Steve head stamp right on his face, top of his head. Good old Scuba Steve, man. Scuba Steve, you're a champion. He has been locking. I've only, I'm only putting him with two females because it's first season, just like uh, Stud Muffin back there, even though he's such a stud. You know, they're young. I don't want to overwhelm him with too many, so I figured two was about the max that I should put him with. <laughs> Bonnie, she is a pinstripe yellow belly extreme jean, 100% het clown. And she's gravid, and she's only ever been with Scuba Steve. So we're looking at some Enchi Red Stripe GHI Spot Nose Yellow Belly Pinstripe Extreme Jean Clowns. A wild outcome possible from this, but again, the great thing about pairing a visual clown is that we're going to have at least 100% het clowns and with all the genes involved in this pairing I'll be super surprised if we get any normal het clowns but you know it could happen so again she is gravid and will likely be one of two to lay their clutch first we got one other female that might lay before her but if that female lays first then she'll be second guaranteed and she's looking absolutely she's on fire right now she's just glowing Glowing and loaded with eggs. Let's do the, the Brian Gundy inversion. Hang, see if you guys can see that belly drop. Now she's too muscly to let you guys show. She's flexing hard. female that Scuba Steve has seen is this Cinnamon Lesser 100% Het Clown. And this girl was produced by my buddy Chase Baker. Got her a few years back and she is just building some big old follicles up in there. Not quite gravid yet, but definitely building. And I'm gonna put these guys together right now. Yeah. <music> Next pairing, <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. This next pairing I'm super excited about. I'm excited about all the pairings this year, but this one in particular, because Carl, our hypo pinstripe, this is the first ball python I ever got. And he's never bred at all. So I figured, you know, it's about time. But the other thing is, his girlfriend here, this GHI humblebee, which is a GHI hypo pastel spider, she has been going for seven years, just real slow growing, eating whenever she kind of feels like it, and she's gravid. She's gravid, so we're gonna have a clutch of all hypo, and a lot of cool and complete dominant genes mixed in, so pretty excited about it. Oh, I can feel those eggs right there in her belly right now. That's gonna be an exciting clutch for us. Long time coming on this one. Carl 
Charles has also been locking up with this beast, Bimbo the Clown. She is just a beast of a clown, and uh, I think she's got some follicles going. It's so hard to tell. She's such a massive, girthy snake that when I palpate her, I, she always leaves me questioning, like, was that was that an, a partially still digesting rat or, you know, but she, she's great. And we'll get some pinstripe double hit hypo clowns out of this. The hypo clowns are absolutely gorgeous. And uh, project I've been wanting to get into, and now we're doing it. I think you can definitely see those eggs hanging down in there if we get the right view she is gravid can you tell from that view I think you can yeah that's Bridget cinnamon clown <laughs> cinnamon clown cinnamon sunset and Bruce the Enchi Het sunset so more Enchi cinnamon sunsets because <laughs> Enchi cinnamon sunsets the best Enchi cinnamon is one of the keys you work Enchi cinnamon in with any of your sunset projects you ain't doing too shabby there he is, Bruce the Beast. Freaking locks up with anything I put him to. And another pairing with Bruce that we're gonna revisit again this season is to Sophie the Enchi Lesser Spider. Look at this girl, she is just glowing, glowing right now. Starting producing follicles. She is a Mojave Cypress. And this was a gift from our buddy Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons. And she's been pairing up with Mr. Pink, the first ball python produced here at Triple B. And she lesser, Paws Het Sunset. Now the fun thing about this pairing is we're gonna get potentially some lesser Mojave, so we're looking at some all white, you know, blue-eyed leukistic animals. And I'm really looking forward to putting the babies under black lights from this pairing. All the leukistic animals, put them under black lights, see what kind of pattern we can see. I've never done that. I've seen so many people put leukistic animals under black lights to see the pattern to figure out if they're lesser, if they're enchi, or what's happening. And I guess the bonus is some of these might have sunset carrying. We're not necessarily going to sell them as that, but you guys know now, you're watching this video, that potential to get in by sheer luck on the sunset project with animals paired from this, with Cypress, with Mojave, with Lesser, with Enchi. And Enchi Lesser just looks so cool just by itself, doesn't it? Now last but not least, although this was a pairing I did last season that didn't end up going, she actually ended up reabsorbing, and that's Ty, our leopard spider. And we're hoping for some leopard lesser spiders that are possible at sunset. I just really like the way leopard and lesser go together. And that's why I decided to do this pairing and try for it again this season. And here's to hoping. I'm gonna put them together right now and see where it goes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am about our 22 season over here at Triple B. And I, yeah, I, if we get half of these pairings to produce clutches for us, I'll be stoked. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha.